What's up boys and girls? Very special video today. Um, this is the first in a three-part mini-series in which I've teamed up with my buddy Carlos Moreno from Moreno Boxing. Boom! Okay, in my opinion, anybody who enters a boxing ring like that is worth listening to. I teamed up with him to discuss um, some of my training techniques and how a lot of these jump rope techniques translate over into boxing and even other martial arts too so it's going to be fun um, in this video we talk a lot about mindset you know there's a there's a patience you need to bring to your training you need to get the fundamentals done first before going up um, otherwise you get frustrated there's also a fearlessness you need to have because well i don't know about you but dancing around with a flying metal whip at 200 miles per hour is a bit scary especially when you're first starting out so that's a mental block we have to get over i hope you enjoy it before we get into that i'd like to ask you to do me a huge favor and just hit that subscribe button down below um, next to that there's a little bell icon if you click on that you'll get notifications of these videos posted on this channel yeah appreciate it without further ado let's crack into the video <laughs> Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Moreno Boxing TV. I'm your host, Carlos Moreno, and today I have a very special guest for you guys, Mr. It's Glenn from Rope Bridge. Peace to be with you all. So, Mr. Glenn is what we call the modern day skip your rope samurai. Check, make sure you check out his Instagram channel, that's how I found him on Instagram. He's got the most amazing skipping videos and cool techniques which he's going to be showing us today. So, without further ado, do you know this? Let's get ready to do it. Let's get ready to do it. Side swing. Let's do some side swing. So there's a lot of variation we can do with the side swing. Yeah? Um, a lot of people are comfortable with this. Yeah. But one thing that I see a common error is that people will do this. Variations that you can do. 
And that's just, it's just building comfort with the rope, it's just spending time with the rope for me. Yeah. yeah, again, that's similar to, let's say, when beginners start boxing, mm -hmm. and they're like really scared and, and like doing all this stuff, and it's like, look, just accept that you're going to get hit maybe yeah. once or twice, but you'll be okay. It's about being stuff. loose. And yeah, loose and being one. That's really cool stuff. Man. Those are the three I'd say. Been a pleasure. All right, you have Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know down in the comments what you thought of it. Do you have any mental blocks that you find are stopping you, taking you to the next level? Um, do you find yourself getting uptight, getting tense when you're when you're training? Let me know down below. It will help me um, in considering whether or not I need to expand on this concept and create further videos in future that can help you out with that. So let me know what you thought down below. Um, I want to thank Moreno for having me. Once again, this was our first meetup. I'm sure there will be plenty more in the future. Check out his stuff. I'm going to link it all up in the description down below. He does some great stuff on boxing technique and how you can really break down the nuances of boxing from your striking, your defense, your footwork, all of that stuff, all of that great stuff. Um, be sure to check it out. I think that's a wrap. Thanks again for watching. Take care and all the best with your training.